Hello Cancer and welcome to your weekly reading. This reading is for Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus sign Cancer. If your Sun sign does not resonate, you might like to check out your Moon sign or your Rising sign as often these readings contain messages which are important to you at this time. Let's call in your angels and guides, spirit and source energy to be present during this reading for Cancer. Guidance for Cancer please, Spirit, guidance and messages for Cancer. This is a general reading, so please take what resonates for you personally and just leave the rest. Not all of the messages are going to resonate for you. Be sure to filter the messages through your own intuition to see what is relevant for your circumstances or not. For a reading that is specific to your circumstances, you can visit katytarot.com. All the information will be there about private personal readings. If you enjoy this reading, give it a thumbs up, click that like button, press subscribe and the notification bell. I really love and appreciate you all so very much for all of your support on my channel. Guidance please Spirit, for Cancer we have a card that has fallen out, two cards for you there Cancer. Your energy, the energy around you for the week. Let's take a look at your first message. Intuitive energy in the loon. Listen to the song of your soul, Cancer. Listen to the song of your soul. It's trying to tell you something. There's something in your heart that wants to be expressed or wants you to acknowledge. Meditation may help with this or a spiritual practice may help with this. Trust your intuition as you have a way of knowing. You have a way of knowing these things. Someone may have said to you recently, how did you know that? You went off your gut feeling. You went off your intuition. Trust that. It's going to come up again. There's a circumstance that you're soon coming up that you're going to come across and you're going to need to tap into this again and, and trust it. Emerge from the busy life and seek more solitude. You may feel that that resonates for you. You may feel that you're just getting too caught up or something isn't right at the moment. You're getting too busy. You need to take some time for you. Recognize that you are unique and that you are loved. There is a uniqueness to you that's going to come out into the open this week maybe publicly maybe another will see this uniqueness in you and it may help them or it may be to benefit you in some respect remember remember to stand up for your ideals and what it is that I feel um I feel here cancer that there's a test happening right now in your life and spirits coming through really strongly and saying it's important for you to stand up for yourself not give your power away and know that you are loved beyond your circumstances. Know that even if there may not be love or compassionate energy around you in an environment that you're in, you are loved universally. You are loved spiritually by your guides, by source energy, by spirit energy and the angels. Awakening Gaia and her gentle souls. Transformative and radiant love. You have this to give. Some of you may be falling in love or feeling beautiful heart-centered energy toward something in your life. Follow this. Follow your heart. Follow your heart, Cancer. Awakening Gaia energy you may feel very connected to or have an affiliation with a group or organization. You may be starting your own group or or getting together with uh, like minds around nature or in nature. There could be a meetup happening here this week. You may be thinking about helping in a charitable way or just in your own life doing things that um, are going to be, connect you more to nature. 
the blessing of letting go. Cancer, there is something that you need to let go of. It might be addictions. It may be a codependent relationship. It may be your current work or employment situation, or maybe something in your home life. You'll know what it is for you, but there is a blessing in letting this go. Free yourself from negative entanglements by letting go of emotional ties, beliefs and outdated ways of thinking that no longer serve you. You have the power. That which you let go will transform into an endless blessing. So really, when you do ultimately let this go and not hold blockages up against this energy, restricted in any kind of way, you are going to receive and start to see in your manifested life some real blessings. Beautiful message from Spirit. Partnerships is coming into focus this week, Cancer. Learn to grow with others. Overcome obstacles by working together. Touch each other's hearts while life lasts. So forging partnerships, forging connections is really important for you at this time. You may be transforming and changing in a relationship, maybe a love relationship or the relationship you have with yourself. Something is transforming in a large way, Cancer. I'm also seeing contracts, agreements, written documents, offers and and information or a gift coming towards you in some way. You have the Page of Swords. This is a child, a youth, or someone younger than you that's around you currently, that's significant in your life. The Page of Swords can mean that there is some gossip or some talking behind your back or maybe a false friend to be aware of. I am seeing this is a new day mentally for you, Cancer. So any worries or anxieties are going to be let go of. I feel it's tied into this card here. So you can have a fresh perspective on someone or something in your life. We have the Eight of Swords. This is an entanglement. An entanglement. I feel it's to do with communication because it's swords. Someone said something to you that they didn't mean or you have thought someone has said something uh, behind your back, but nothing's confirmed. There's a hearsay energy, perhaps. There's a there's an energy of entanglement with communication that has to be sorted out this week or very soon, Cancer. The Three of Pentacles is working together with others. It's also about becoming very skilled and good at your job or career or study or what you're putting your effort and energy into cancer. So this is an indication that you're going to be quite successful in your work or in your um, efforts will pay off. This also represents contracts, agreements, and something that's binding. Going into a permanency in some way, going into a contract that's permanent or getting more serious in a relationship or, a, or an agreement of some kind. We have another page energy. So this is a newness when it comes to your vitality, when it comes to your inspiration. It may be musically, you get inspiration through playing music or listening to music. Maybe it helps with meditation. You know how that resonates for you. There's also that guy energy I'm seeing here with the animals, flora and fauna. And that beautiful nature essence is around you, maybe even nature spirit. There is a new door opening, spirit is telling me, for you when it comes to creativity, when it comes to accessing your creativity and that being expressed in your life. And the Ace of Wands. So, yes, there's something that is going to be turned on in you. There's a there's a, a, a an ignition switch that's going to 
be turned on cancer and this may be in love and romance and passion for some of you for others this is going to be work or another area of life where you have felt there's just a humdrum mundane energy perhaps boring perhaps it's nothing is really moving in an exciting way this is you getting your mojo back this is you getting your inspiration your creative spark back or if you are already on a certain level with this it's it's really opening up a new opportunity or a new door for you so I really like this uh, reading for you, Cancer. I hope you have a wonderful week ahead and I'll talk to you all again soon.